Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the River and Wilder Show. Today, we're in Arizona, and we're headed to the Butterfly Wonderland. We're going to see who can catch the most butterflies. No, no. You don't catch butterflies, you let them land on you. Oh, oh you got one! You got the one I had! They have a fire breathing dragon! No, River, we have a water dragon. And stay tuned to watch us eat bugs. Actually, yes! We can help you there. I think so. Oh, I think you got it. Go for it, bud. Yeah. Hello, boys! Hello. Uh, who's going to catch the most butterflies today? Me! Me! That was a trick question. We're not catching butterflies. Yeah! I think this would attract the butterflies, and then you could stop and they'd land on you. <coughs> I think a butterfly is going to land right on my nose. Bing, 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 bing. All right, we're here. But for the first time in our lives, we're early. Cat of in the bus. So let's talk strategy. I'm going to have the most butterflies land on me because I have a pink shirt. Ooh, pink shirt, that could work. Because I have a hat with a brim. Hat with a brim, sure, why not? Play ball! Because I wore my flower pants. Sure, butterflies like flowers. It's because of my tree pose. Yes, I am going to win this. <laughs> Alrighty, they are open and we are here. And we're going to start with a picture. Then Wilder and I get in trouble for ruining the picture. <laughs> then we put on some cool glasses. Looking good. Cool as ever. Then we watch a cool 3D movie. It looks like you can touch the butterflies, but you can't. We tried. Who caught the most butterflies in the film? Me! I definitely <laughs> did. I definitely did. <laughs> now, let's go see some butterflies emerging. Hey guys, come and check out our emergence gallery. This is Charlie. He knows a lot about butterflies. This is the first stop for every butterfly and moth you guys are going to meet today inside the conservatory. They're all real. And every butterfly you see in here today will fly for their very first time inside the conservatory and that's where they're going to spend their two weeks to six months of a lifespan. Some of those ones look like leaves. The caterpillars will stay inside their chrysalis for three to five weeks. And when they emerge as butterflies, they go into the conservatory. Before we meet up with these guys, there are a few stops along the way. Hey guys, it's me, Ocho. They've got an amazing aquarium here. Come look at these huge weird fish. That's a black paku. It's sort of like a vegetarian piranha. Time for the rainforest reptiles. I love a frog. Look at that. Like this leaf-tailed gecko. Ooh, chameleons. Look at the caiman. And this guy is a caiman crocodile. Ooh, what does Charlie have for us? Oh, we meet Spike. Spike is a crocodile skink, but don't be scared. Yeah, you see why his name's Spike, right? Can I are holding a crocodile, look at that. He's so cool. Because this right here is a 25-year-old ball python. These are the smallest of any of the python or boas. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Body's like a big bicep muscle. Um, this is safe, right, Charlie? <laughs> Arch, it's gonna kiss you, buddy. <laughs> it tickles. It tickles and tickles. Oh, we're here. Headed in to the conservatory to meet the butterfly. Hey guys, it's me, Wilder. The conservatory is a butterfly's paradise. They control the temperature and humidity to make it just right for the butterflies. And there are so many in here. I'm on the lookout for this guy, a blue morpho. His wings are blue when they're open and brown when they're closed, which makes it hard for predators to see him when he's flying. 
and when he feels safe, he opens them to attract a mate. Okay, looks like they have a chicken. Have a look at the fish. Okay. There's a koi pond with a monster catfish in it. It's a big one. Let's see if we can find Hoover. I see him. Anyone see Hoover's blue eyes? Pick oh, here, it up. Here, here. There he is. Hey there, Hoover. There was so much to see here. Like this lizard just lounging in the sun. That's Puff. He's a male water dragon. You'll notice the scar on his lips. That's because he came to Butterfly Wonderland as a rescue. Checking you out, you can see that he's, whoa, look at him go. And now he helps educate visitors like us. So come check him out, guys. I think he likes all the attention. Awesome. <laughs> now when he gets rambunctious, this is what happens. He goes like this. And he's going to say, give me my finger. Okay. And then he'll just kind of relax. Look, his eyes are closing. He starts purring almost like a little cat finger. And then on three, boom, he's back. And then he'll puff in and say, hey guys, how's it going? When he feels scared, he's got this long tail that he can use as a whip. When you kind of go like this, he's going to jump in the water, use this like a rudder on a boat, and swim away. You guys want to give him a high five? He needs five fingers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've met chickens, fish, and puff. Time to meet some butterflies. Look, the blue morpho. Uh, Dad, you're sort of filming that lady's butt. Hey, Dad, there's one on your back. Oh, yeah! Am I winning? Yeah. Where is it? Oh, right Dad's good first. See? Calm, stand still, butterflies come to you. It's game on. What's the plan, buddy? Camouflage? You're acting like a plant? <laughs> Usher's going to blend in with his surroundings. Okay, don't move. Let's call him Camouflage Man. What? That didn't work? Let's try River Zen technique. Hmm. I wonder if Dad's first butterfly was a fluke. Don't move, River. There's one right behind you. Nope, it's not working. Let's try walking really slow. Hey there, little guy. Never seen him move so slow. We even started getting desperate for points. Almost landed oh, on the Oh, one thumb! We both we'll, got We'll count one. that, one for a while, we'll count that. Very desperate. One landed on my cup, that counts. It's crazy, because they were everywhere. Oh, hold still, Archie, no move, he likes to Victory! Oh, Archer! The curse is lifted. A butterfly on my shoe. Oh, There's two. Go, Mom. And go, Daddy. I got one. Oh, he's coming back for more. Apparently, hard work does pay off. For catching butterflies. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. I got three! I'm witness. I'm witness. Oh, oh you got one! You got the one I had! Uh, this one's got my back. And I've got four. Well, there he goes. Archer, you're trying the windmill method? Amazing. I've got six so far! My strategy is paying off. Stay I've good. got six That's so right. far. Seven! This is pretty neat. Pink is the color. My strategy is the winner. I got four. This is my eighth one. And it's a blue morpho. It's my eighth one on my head. Oh yeah, pink shoots everybody. Remember that. It's time for one last stop. At the bug buffet. We've had bacon and cheese packets. I love bugs. Nothing like a nice package of bugs, right? How's it going? Oh, I think you got it. Sounds like you got it. Oh, that's the strategy. I recommend if you're really tough right here, let's go with the cricket. I'm going to try it now. Okay, let's go. What do you think? Good. I'm 
can try bacon and cheese flavored cricket. Go for it, bud. Yeah. How is it? Good. Do it. Nope. Do it. No, I'm not. Do I'm it. No, I. Come on, mom. No. Come on, mom. No. Nope. Here, you gotta eat his head now. Is it good? Archer, eat me. Finish it. You get the button. They did earn their medal. All right. This is the proudest moment of my life right here. Archer getting his bug eating button. Hey, you put it on your list of things you've accomplished. There we go! That was delicious! Wait, what's that? Is River underwater? Underwater with a real shark? Is that me meeting a real penguin? No, I must be dreaming. But you should probably subscribe just to be safe.